All right, thank you for joining us, and yeah, let's keep going here. Tony, what's going I on? I got hit once. Well, at this point, we are going to... Well, the battle is over, and I believe the part... So to heal up, use healing surges. You, yeah, you. <sighs> okay, I think I figured out what the issue is with it. So you guys are just probably going to have to bear with it. I don't know what else to do with it. Um, right. So you guys want to heal up. And mm -hmm. you all need to rest. So, to heal everybody up to full health by using what healing surges you need to, and to regain the use of your encounter powers, it will cost one time cycle, which would be the same as if you were in combat. Okay. Alright. Okay, so what Joe, would... I'm gonna go through everybody's one at a time. Okay. Just so you know. Joe, you would need to spend two healing surges. Alright. Klostoff, you would need to spend... You would need to spend two healing surges. Rona, you would need to spend two healing surges. Zaxus, you would need to spend two healing surges. I'm sensing a trend. <laughs> I was going to say the same thing. You would need to spend, oh my god, two healing surges. Wow. Whoa. Um, and so it's going to be what? Zaxxus and Rona are both down three total because of the my so. skills? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll be down three. I'm also down three because I used one on my own. Okay, so I'm just minusing another two, and then I will be at 34 health, is what you're telling me? Mm-hmm. You'll be at full. Okay. So he's put us up to full? Mm-hmm. Okay. What? No, okay. And I can clear what? out my encounter Wait. Uh, attacks, right? Mm hmm. That's weird. Did you spend your healing surges? I, I spent you. mine. Okay. I I'm just. Fixing everybody's first... health up and stuff. Oh. I. Okay. I fixed mine and you unfixed mine. I don't know how. It says Magic. 29. On I my one screen. Yeah, and so did I. Now if it's back to 34. If you're, like, you have to stick to the uh, the circles or the mm -hmm. character sheet, because if you then do the other one, it will it will reset Oh, them. seriously? Yeah, I figured that. That's kind of stupid. Yeah. It's really bad. It's really bad. <laughs> okay. I don't well, know why. Whatever the case, yeah. we're done in here. So let's um, can I get the bloody the icon taken off? Oh, yeah. Thanks, man. Mm-hmm. Okay, come on. Why aren't you good? Like, Roll20's been actually quite co uncooperative lately. You know, I don't know if it's just if they're doing maintenance, if it's what have you, if certain formats and stuff. Please don't put X's on you. That means you're dead. Oh, no. I clawed off. Okay. Clawed off we suddenly were... died. Which room were you guys in? I think you were over. I say. Yeah. That seems right. Okay. Where That's do you guys wish to go There's next? Me. To the Walrus King. Yeah, I think the down left. Okay, down the left. The down left, English. The down left, and... Oh, wait, that's right. You need to spend time for doing that, so hold on one second here. One, D, three. I'm going to need two people to roll me time consumption. Six and seven. A D20 or a D... No, a D10. A D10 for this end. By the way, that's how you roll a d10 on this, so I don't know why you're even around. 2388 is your time. <laughs> and by the way, you guys are in a blank room on this one. Nice. So number six is rolling me 3d20, but cutting one out. Uh, Number six is rolling you 3 20 minus one. Number two. Okay. I look at the empty room because I'm just happy to be able to see things again. 
new time, 2378. <laughs> Next room. Mm -hmm. I'm just, just, just go straight, straight across. Yep. yep. Straight across. Okay, what do we have? This room. I don't know. Dun dun dun. <laughs> Oh, I know what's in this room. Oh, man. Is it a walrus? No. Cuckoo, cachoo. Six walls. Maybe a floor. I think it's another chemistry set. Actually, hang on a second. Cool. I made a date on something here. So, actually, that last room did not count as a time room. So you guys are back up to 2388, and the last room you are in is actually the room you are in now. Wait, so we just got pushed backwards? Pushed backwards, however, the room that is what's supposed to have happened, that last room. Okay? Oh, I get you. Yeah, there was, a, there was an error. So you guys walk into this room... And inside of it sits a single chest. Oh, Perception. cool. Look, you can see the other half under the ice. Can we pick it out? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, hold on. Rona, yeah, when you, look at the, you see on the top of the chest, there is a singular key. Don't use it, it's a trap. Hey, Zaxxus, um, why don't you go and open that chest there? You mean use the key? Yeah, go for it. Uh, fine. I check. Where are we? Thievery. To make sure the key will actually work. <laughs> it didn't. Okay, I so you walk over. Hang on. You walk over to the chest. And I look and at the were... key. You look at the key. And I Just check. Like... And I check to see if the key will work in the lock. So you because reach I'm all, for the key. No, I'm all thievy. Okay, I grab the key. Somehow I feel I need to touch this key. You touch the key, and as you're reaching for it, the key actually pops down onto the floor, and you hear a small click. When you do, the doors push the people who are standing in the doorway out of them. Oh, okay, I guess I was here then entire room and all of a sudden from all over the walls and the floor and the ceiling thousands of tiny little doors open oh, and shit. out fall just hundreds upon hundreds of keys bouncing all over the room they swarm over the party and separate themselves into two piles one pile of Six and another pile of about the thousand keys other that came out of the room. So you said six? Six on this side and a thousand on the other. And the one that was on top of the chest is still like by the chest on the left? Or it's did it just, it's sitting it like it jumped itself on the button and like scooted itself under. The button. Under what? Yes. Under the button, it like scooted and then like whoop. Oh, so look at me, butterfingers! <laughs> I must be all butterfingers over here. So now you're sitting in a room with like a thousand plus keys. What do you guys choose to do now? So six and then one thousand ish. Yeah, a rough give or take. Um, and who has an axe? Are both doors locked? I have an Every axe. door is presently locked. Okay. Um, is I there try and... is there a lock on the chest or is the there chest is open? there was the key on there was the key on the top of the chest and what appeared to be a lock. Okay. I try and open the chest still. The chest opens. What's inside? Inside, you notice another metal shard. What am I? What am I at? One, two, three. This is the fourth. Yeah, this four. is the fourth one. Uh, okay, so I pull out the other metal shards in so my pocket. So at this point, pocket. the three metal shards are together. Of your index finger, and when the fourth shard says, My brethren, come closer! 
I throw it at the... I throw the shards at the one in the thing. What happens is this one joins on with the other one, so now you have two steel... Like, you have a steel rod kind of looking thing in the middle. It's about the length of an index finger. Mm -hmm. And then on the back, you have two halves of a hexagon linking up together. Hmm. I pick it up. Okay. That was a perception check to see if I would, could see what was going on. It, uh, like inside oh. the box? You really could Just around Zex. Yeah. Okay. So, but the chest, for you. The, shard, the shard is there, but the doors are all still locked. All right. Um, uh, I'm going to do an arcana check on the room. Okay. You detect a faint message within the walls. Can I do an arcana check? You may. You can all do arcana checks. Yeah, everybody can do arcana checks, just a matter of how good. Zolak detects this message too. Klaustoff does not. What the message is? I'm waiting to see how many people are going to hear it. Sure. Rona, you also hear the message. Zax, you do not. So, Rona, Zolak, and Joe, you all see the message like faintly shimmering in the walls. Only the interest of time will set you free. There. I think that means you have to use all of Clawstaff's water. Yeah. I mean, you didn't even hear that. <laughs> He's a uh, guys, what what's what do we do? What's, what's do, going on? Do you think any of these keys work on the doors? Oh, quick. Um, do the doors even have keyholes? So the tiny doors don't, and the big doors, the or the big doors that lead you out do. Right, let's draw the keys. Um, okay. Okay, hold on. Say that again. The inter No, I don't know that. The Never smaller mind. key. You don't know it unless they say it. Wait, can I do a perception check on the keys? Like, can I tell if there's differences? Sure. They all um, appear to have different shapes and stuff. Like, like they all appear to be different. <clears throat> with different lengths, with different uh, tooth patterns, and, like, the back little knob of the key, all sorts of different shapes, different colors. Like, can I screw this? I just try and pick, my, pick one of the locks. It does not work. <laughs> what? Can I do a perception check on one of the doors with the, the keyhole? You may. I rolled like a twenty-four. Um, it just it, to you it appears to be key. You can tell there's some, some sort of arcane binding within it, though potentially. Okay. I uh, maybe it has something to do with the metal thing in uh, Zaxus's pocket. I do an arcana check on the doors. Okay. You do an arcana check. Okay. On the doors, we want to get through to get to where we're going, not okay. the ones we can You came. use an arcana check, and you see a clock about to strike noon on the key, basically. And at that point, I am going to be asking... Number three to roll 2d... or 3d20 and skip one. Oh, sorry, that's me. Um... Wake up, asshole. Nerd. Two. Okay. Number two will not count. Of course it won't. Yikes. I assume we went to the low. New time is 2359. The doors do not open yet. The time is 259. Two twenty-three fifty-nine. 
All right, I'm going to go over by the pile of six keys, and I'm going to arrange them based on their size. Okay. There's one key that is about a half an inch long total. Three keys that are about four inches long, and one key that is six inches long. Another one is about uh, three inches long. So half an inch, a three inch, two four inch. All right, I'm going to then grab the four and a half inches and whatever the longest one was. And six inches. Six inches. And take them over to the door. Okay. Tony, before we do Jeez. anything else... Uh, oh, never mind. I'm going to send you a direct message. Okay. I try the largest key first, unless he's plotting something evil again. <laughs> yeah, I think just do it. Do you try the other one? I try the largest one, and then I try... If that doesn't work, I'm going to just try the other three that I have. Okay. You try them, none of them work. I throw them into the corner. At this point, it's going to be another... 3d20 with a one skip from number... Uh, Skip the first one. Okay. Okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> New time is 23, 28. And what's going to happen now? Um. Okay, hang on here. Um. That's it. All right. So as you guys are trying to figure, as you actually, as time expires, the message kind of fades out from the walls, and it basically says, in the interest of time. The doors open. As the doors open, you guys are right here, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. So just, just open? So, th yeah, they just opened, and this one here just fell into the ocean. I wonder if it's going to make, like, an image. Like a butterfly or something. It's a butterfly or something. So I'm guessing you're going to go to the one open... <laughs> yes. yes. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead. That was technically the time roll to get out of that room. So we'll move into this next one here. And what are you going to... Ah, okay. Cool. So here, in this room, you happen to find another chest of some sort. And you Perf see it. Perception check. If you wish. Damn. Chest right here. Nothing in particular about these ones, just the chest. So. Do you guys wish to open the chest? There's nothing else in the I room did, other than the singular chest. I did an arcana check. Can I... You nice do not detect anything. any magical in, uh, influences, and Klostoff, you can tell there is absolutely nothing in this room. You or guys are, like, totally in the clear. Okay. Hey, Zaxxus, go open the chest. You go open the chest. I'm doing this right. one. I'm doing this one. All right. All right, Mothman. Here we go, boys. You open the chest. Inside of the chest... You find a model of a tower. I put it in my chest, the one that I'm dragging around. Okay. Wait, wait actually, you know, let's do a perception check on it. Okay. <laughs> Shit. Nope. I do an arcana check on it. You can only tell it has a very faint arcana to it, but that's because of what the nature of the item is. It is a structure. You actually know this from personal experience. This is a structure of 
uh, Tharstara Tower located in the Zerul Plains. I'll be right back. Oh, so it's it's like a, a it's like it a, a model, model? Of a building. Yes, very. So this is like another blueprint, basically. Kind of, yeah. It's another artifact. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll throw it in the chest. Oh, we should with with your ice sculpture. Maybe you can put yeah, it in a bag, bag because if the this thing falls apart, we might have to ditch the chest. Just... Yeah. Okay. Thicker. Here, Homer, do you have the blueprint? Still? No, you you have it because I tried to eat it. Right here, you go. <laughs> ah, that's right. here, here, you take both blueprint and the t the tower. Yeah, I shouldn't hold on to these things. My perception is nothing. <laughs> I'll just get it stolen from me again, and then we'll have to beat up the rogue again. Final, final, <laughs> take it, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're gonna roll time. I believe in the moths to protect it. Yeah, Number they 10. will. That's me. Three D twenty. Which one's disappearing? Uh, the third one. Okay. Ow. I called it. I called it. Oh my gosh. Wow. Ow. New time, 2294. Okay. So I would like to um, open Klostoff's chest and throw all the water on the ground. No. Really? Yep. I try and stop you. So up perception here... Perception check? Yeah, perception oh. check on this one, please. I swear. <laughs> <laughs> what do I have to roll? Acrobatics? Um, Technically, stealth to see if he sees you. And Oh, by the way, guys, this room up here... Here, that room right there that just pinged. Yeah. Yeah, it is plummeting into the ocean with a loud crack as it breaks free from the foundation. Hmm. Nobody okay, sees. you're stealthed. Wait. So, how many vials do you have left, Vel? Because they're eight. all gone. You have eight? Great. I took five. Oh, Lord. If you're, okay. if you're gonna take them, at least just keep them in case. Like, don't throw okay. them on the ground. So, which room are you guys going to from? Oh, let's, uh, go, let's down go down. Right. Okay, you're going down here. Mm hmm. Okay. This is nice. You guys are running into actually something that's kind of full of oh. Okay. So you walk into a room that you guys haven't seen before. Are those books? They are. <gasps> Ooh, Perception I check. can't read. Wait. I'm very stupid. Perception I checks? see books. Okay, hold on. Are they Try books? Here. Whoops, oh we my don't gosh. need to review. Kimmy rolls a natural 20. Nice. Oh my gosh. So Klostoff and Ron nail this. Here, if you guys um, are going to do that, I'm going to do an Arcana check. Okay. Okay, you can tell that the door ahead of you guys is magically locked. The perception check shows Klostoff and Rona engraved above the door it says the password is blade. Steven or Zaxus pull up the blades or the the thing, the metal thing. But you can't see that. I have no idea what you're talking about. Hey guys, about. I literally gave you. There's a subscription above the door over here that says the password is blade. Oh, yes, I guess. Do you think it has to do with one of these books or who can try it, the door? It definitely has something to do with the books. Let's that was burn oh my God. Hey, Zaxus, why don't you go and stick one of your daggers into the door? Didn't I actually like physically give Steven or Zaxus one of the did. light things? So I know that he has it? Yes. Mm -hmm. And we all saw him take it from the guy? Yup. 
can oh, did you get my message, Tony? Yeah, you can. Can I say it to you so they can't hear it because it's in my head? <laughs> well, you have to physically speak to them. Oh, I have to physically speak to them. Yeah, no telekinetics. Uh, they can do that, but you can't do that. Uh, so but they do I, say to you, one of our friends is close. Uh, so I say, I, I say without holding them, are they, <laughs> is he in this room? They say in the door. Great. So I, wa oh, I can't, wrong one. Uh, so I walk over to the door. And the and door do says, perception. greetings. How are you? Oh. Oh, it's a friendly door. Hi. Uh, hi, know. door. I, I how's it going? going? I'm, I'm caught door off guard. Uh, hi. The door is our friend. Question, question mark? Well, hello. How's it going? Fine. What brings you here? Uh, we want to get to the other side. We were invited to the uh, wedding. We're here to see the uh, to see the bride and groom. Well, there's a wedding here. That's fascinating. I had no idea there was. What do you know? Uh, some things. Can you let us through? Not unless you say the password. Oh, she wanted to say on the wall. Password is Blades? Or Blade? My favorite movie. Hmm. I'm, I'm so sorry to hear that. Blade. It doesn't necessarily ring a bell. Hmm. <laughs> what did it say in that room? Where the the puzzle with all the keys? What did it say on the wall? That was in about... the interest of time. Was... Yeah. I, I, I would say... I say this. Blades backwards. Said old B. Says, that doesn't sound particularly right. Are you... sure that you've got the right password? Apparently not. Apparently <laughs> not. I would like to use a uh, what's the best skill here? Um, a bluff oh, check so on the door, <laughs> convincing it the password is blades. <laughs> okay. We've officially fought a door, the floor, the walls, and some ice. The castle is our enemy. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, um, we fought the floor? There is no wall, King. <laughs> it's all hoax. Um, okay, so you are trying to convince it the password's blades. And he says, that just, I can't really bring myself to say that word because it doesn't seem right. Maybe we're supposed to, maybe we just haven't found, like, the password yet. And we should just go exploring and then come back. I'm a peaceful door. I don't like talking about weapons. Somebody hey, Rona, use your axe on him. Can I attack the door? <laughs> Does the door have, like, a mouth? Like, is it physically speaking? Uh, no, it's not. Not that you can see. It's just, like, you sounds guys, like... Oh, we can all hear it. You can make an arcana check, though, to see if maybe you see a mouth. Or perhaps something else. Don't care enough. Okay, Joe. Oh, Zolak, you find a very... Underneath... A the very inscription, what? the password is door. Or the password is blades. This magical inscription reads, make the door say it. Say blades? Oh, okay. Intimidate. You know what? Yeah. Here, hey, Joe. Here's Zaxxas. Here's yeah. Zaxxas. Pass me, pass me. <laughs> Zaxxas, pass me the, the blade thing. Uh, uh, what blade thing? I don't have the blade thing. Can I can I can I can I call him on that bluff? Do I bluff check as well? <laughs> uh you would do insight to counter his bluff. Right, yeah. Shit. 
Even though I gave him one of the pieces, I have no idea that he has it. I'm gonna ask the door very kindly if you could please say the word blades for me. It would just be a great favor if you could just say the word. <laughs> you know, it's really nice, but again, I don't particularly like you saying things about violent nature. You know what? I didn't, I, I didn't say it! This. I didn't want to do this. <laughs> say it! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh God, he's got a voice as sharp as a blade! <laughs> oh man. The door, like, dissolves. I was, gonna, I was gonna use the books as hostage and burn them. <laughs> My the, door, the door dissolves. And a small metal shard falls to the ground. <laughs> I pick it up. Thanks, Joe Pesci. Who picks it up? I didn't hear. I did. Okay. It says to you, a few of my friends are close by. I need to make the reunion. Bro, uh, his girlfriend. You have there. something. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> I would like to steal it from him. Oh my god. It's pretty much well, give it my hand. I just give it to him. I don't even care anymore. Okay, you give him the whole structure? Yep, I don't even care. Okay. So I just you now have... More. Okay, so you have it in your hand, and they both start to warm up very rapidly. <laughs> Alright, I put them together. Him. As you do, the... Shard melds with the key and creates mm. a tooth at the end that is almost tusk shaped in nature. Oh man, gee. That's disgusting. You've got some weird fetishes over uh, there. Can I do a, I'm gonna do an arcana check on it. This is a time check for room number six. Yeah, I'm gonna do an arcana check too. Okay. Basically, oh yeah, you don't. Uh, the, so Joe, you're able <laughs> to tell. You just fall over. So first of all, <laughs> Joe, you're able to tell that this is a key that requires all of its net pieces to actually be operational. Um, don't we and have then the time five now? You have five of them, but there does not seem it's not complete yet. Okay. Are they speaking to me at all? They, one of the, you hear the different voice discordant chorus, like, say, only one of us remain. Alright, what's, well, I guess we need one more piece. So, so this Whatever door here this thing just is. dissolved, right? Like, it's gone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's right. forward. Why do we okay. trust this artifact? Number six, by the way, I need a uh, 3d20 with one roll not counting. Uh, first one. Okay. 3D20 or 3D10? 3D20. 3D20. Yeah, exactly. Guys, this is how you do it. This, that, that's how you, you do it. You said number one didn't count? Yep. Okay. Your new time is 2281. As you move back out onto the map map is starting to look a little shoddy here in terms of its uh, structural integrity. Where to next, guys? I think we should go uh, out. No, let's head up. Up. Yeah. Up. Up you go. Guys, why are we listening and to an artifact in our enemy's castle? Got a better idea? Well... Does he, wait, hold on. How does he hear anything? He doesn't know. Yeah, you don't know anything. Okay, don't, I'm sorry. Your claw I'm mouth. Sorry. Yeah. Why are we collecting Zoyberg? artifacts? I want my 10k. You'll get your 10k. Look, don't worry about it. We're still as looking for the wall which came. And as yeah, you walk I'm into this room, races. there is another treasure chest. Can we do our cannon check? Okay. You do not detect magic in the room. The room seems to be perfectly clear. You know what? I'm going to do a whole new perception check. Okay. Sweet. Yep. I see anything. Clear. All's good. Does anybody choose okay. to open the chest? I mean, I will. Okay. All right. You open the chest, and inside of it, there actually appears to be a poster for a financial institution, a newly opened bank run by the prestigious Argentus family.
<laughs> I what think you, that one stings Paul a little bit. <laughs> what do you got in there? Is it an Easter egg or something to one of you guys? Yeah. You could say that. <laughs> Alright, but yeah, it's a poster basically for a newly opened bank. In it doesn't really specify where. It just says it's a newly opened bank. You know. And it's okay. being run by the highly prestigious Sargentis family. I'll pocket that. Okay, right. room check time. Number two! Okay, which one won't count? Knock out the third. Knocking out the third. Why did Paul say, oh, fuck you? Yeah, boy. Because he knows the reference. Oh, I missed the reference. 2276 is your present time, guys. Which room are you moving to? I thought we pointed the only one we okay. haven't visited. All right. There's a lot we haven't visited. Number. Ooh. Okay, this is going to be an interesting room that you want to. Seriously, this is an interesting room. This is one of the first choices. I don't yep. know. And this happens to be a really interesting one because you guys kind of walk in there. You'll actually see if the game will let me take it. Hang on. It's not cooperating. There we go. You begin to see there's actually in the center of the room there's actually a rather gigantic block of ice with a chair frozen in the center of it and someone sitting inside of it. Perception check. Okay. Uh, on your perception check you recognize Recognize Inconvenient nothing. mic check. <laughs> You know what? It's it's uh, just as bad as Ben. Yeah. All of My mic? Yeah. yeah. We recognize, right. and then it would cut out. So Yeah, you got you to recognize. recognize. It's a block of ice. Like, they're... Still didn't like get it. They're just, like, sitting it's on the block. block. Yeah, yeah, we know it's like they're sitting on it, or yeah, we get that part. Like, the, the recognizing in the chair. Part is... There's a chair. He's oh, sitting look, on a, a chair. chair. Near the block What's of ice. Sitting on a chair. A person. <laughs> person. Yo. You, the token, yo. Like, is he a person though? Like, as or is he like just look like, look like something? He appears like a humanoid wolf. Um, are we getting tokens in here or not? No, actually, this might. Be Okay, I would like to hide. So brave. I do uh, a friendly greeting. Hello, the good ice sir. Does not, the ice does not move. He's frozen in the ice. Oh, he's always in the ice. Alright, I'm going to hit with my quarterstaff. Okay. Why is violence the first thing you always go to? No, just like lightly. I just want to tap it. So okay. poking with a stick is your first instinct. It's very, very solid. This isn't like the magic carving ice from earlier. Damn. Can I so hit it with my axe? Do you wish? You think he's? You guys are so violent. I'm At least to I'll break just the ice. <laughs> that axe is over here. What do I need to do with my axe? Like just roll it? Yeah. Basic attack for Battle Axe. It hits, and the ice kind of begins to crack. Can I just hold my like a torch oh, up to it? Now you, did it. it? you may, but it may take a while for it to... Would a hmm. sunrod or a lantern work faster? Uh, probably about the same. Ew. I throw one of Vel's ice uh, water bottles on it. <laughs> It starts to solidify the ice again. You <laughs> dumbass. <laughs> you literally made it worse. Mm, Here, you know, I'm gonna uh, hold the torch up to it while you guys think or whatever, just so. Can I kill okay. some time? I have a. So if, if I. If, For time generate, number seven. Yeah. Oh, that's me. 3d10, which one does not count? 
3D10? No, 3D, yeah, uh, no, 3D20, I'm sorry. Uh, first one doesn't count. Okay. Is it... Is the ice big enough that, uh... 2246 time. Which means something happens. Alright. We're gonna go back to the map for a minute here. You can check my inventory. So you guys are in this one here. And it's gonna be this one here that begins to float away and capsizes into the sea. All right. Hmm. Shed a single tear. <laughs> Back to my, the map. Uh, yeah. Is it, Tony? Is the ice big enough that if I use like my whirling rend, I could hit it twice? Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna step up and do that. You hit it, tearing chunks of ice off in the problem. Is that like what kind of progress are we making on it? Oh wow, you actually made a lot of progress. The guy's almost, like, you can see his head kind of, like, break free of the ice. Is he dead, or is he, like, alive? He is alive from what you can tell. He isn't saying anything. Though. Is his head, like, fully out? Kind of. It's, like, it's basically, like, right up at his neck, so he can, like, not move it. If we... I'd like to hide behind the chair. If we, like, all try, can we knock this thing over? You might be able to at this point. Okay, let's go for it, guys. I, for, I, I don't move to do anything. I just, just ask him a question. It's like, hey, buddy, how you doing? He's like, Ugh. Okay. Can we knock it over? <sighs> or try it on? You seem to be in a block of ice. How'd you get here? <sighs> Bastard king. He decided to have that oh-so-magnificent wedding he's been blathering on about for five years and decides to not only not invite anybody, but instead kidnaps me, freezes me in a block of ice, and is now forced to be the witness to their marriage. Oh, so what do you think about this king guy? You like him? He's an, Hate him? He's an asshole who is too petulant to realize when you can't get what you want, you can't just run away. Oh, that's cool, buddy. So we're here to kill him, so we'll help you out of there. Just hold on a sec. All right. <laughs> he kind of just help. sits there. I help you uh, to uh, free him. Okay. Uh, it's going to take another time generate. All right. Number three. Number three. Yes. Three, one, uh, D20, one does not count. Man, yeah, I haven't rolled forever. Number three will not count? Nice. Yes! Okay, new time is 22-28. It takes some time, but you eventually free the man from his prison, and he kind of jumps out and he's like, ah, oh, thank God. So do you know where he is right now? He says, I'm not immediately familiar with where exactly he is. Can I do a but perception I check on you? Okay, perception check on. The wolf thing? Sure. You can tell he's a Hangiokai as well. Is there anything valuable on him? No. He says there's not much, but I can at least 
tell you more likely than not where the last place you'll need to go is to perhaps get access to him. By all means, anything helps at this point. This place okay. is coming apart. Boy, well, ball as um, the seams. I show him the, the the key thing of the four pieces and ask him, do you know what this is? He says, ah, uh, yes. That is a key of sorts that it takes all six pieces to be put together to turn into an actual operational key. He probably scattered them around the castle so that that way when it was time for the wedding, whoever had access to the key would be more than welcome to witness the affair. Okay, cool. He says, I'm not entirely sure, but I can probably show you where that last fra- I know where one of the fragments- It's- it's in a room with books. Oh, shit. Well, we got one in there. No, we didn't. He kind of- he kind of jumps to the did. map, and he says- He kind of motions you guys. He look. he kind of- because you guys are right here, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. He says the third shard, he kind of traces his, he kind of traces a route through the doors. He says it's in this room here. Of course, okay. very cool. We were on our way there anyway. Actually, no, he says, wait, he says, wait, hold on. What? What? <coughs> I was like, no, it's, it's here, it's this one. Oh. Okay. Is he bluffing me? You can attempt to insight and see. No, I don't care enough. I care. Hold on, let's do this. He's not bluffing you. Okay. Still cool. not bluffing. So you, that you can. Do you want to come with us, buddy? Get your revenge. Why are you talking to him like he's a dog? He says come as much as I, He says as much as I'd love to. My strength is fading. I'm not sure how much longer I'll last. Bastard had me frozen for a week. Well, there's a, uh, a guy with a boat hanging out out there, so maybe you can find a him. Week? You're We're going to go baby. kill this walrus. He says, if there's assistance here, I'll attempt to get down to it. All right. See ya. Good luck. Take care, pal. All right, so you guys have... <laughs> He's very clearly said that it is over here. Yeah. But he also may have misconstrued himself, and it could have been there. It just depends Actually, on which I you want to go. I think he said it was over here. Oh, the first one, and then over there. Oh, I don't know. So the mouse just hit them all up. Well, whatever yeah. the case is, it he, looks like they're all on a clean then, path. Yeah. So you decide to go to this room here? Yeah. And you guys well, are right we... here. So that's going to require you guys to pass through at least one room to get there. Yeah. Okay. One room we've already been in. Right. Mm -hmm. Time generation number five. Gotcha. Uh, get rid of the second one. Ah. Shit. <laughs> Your time is 2200... And on this one... Your time is 2200. On this one... This room here... Breaks away and then just like... It kind of like almost peels off and falls away. Uh oh. Alright. But now you're in this room here. Which is actually a complete waste of time. What? No. Yeah, this he didn't say this one was at no point did he ever say that. Yeah, no. He, That's he fine. said it was one of these two. So I know I was giving him a hard time. Yeah, head into the next one. Okay. The next room is Let's see here. It is a magical item. Arcana check. Okay. Oh, Jonah, <laughs> right off the top. Nice. <laughs> Actually heard of 
item in myth, but you guys have actually managed to find it, impressively. You have found an item called the Rod of Frozen Hope. <laughs> what this item does, however, is it has limited powers that can perhaps assist in this setting, but keeping in mind in order to get its full uses, you must sacrifice some of your vitality. So in order to use this Fraud of Freezing Hope, two different effects based on conditions. One may either grant the use of a Healing Surge. Actually, no, it may grant the use of plus three to AC and minus three to your Reflex Defenses. Or, if it is particularly fortuitous, you may wind back time. The rod may only be used three times. Gotcha. So who has that? That would oh. be... I was the one. Joe. would be Joe. Yelled the Arcana check. Okay. Moving into the next room, you guys have your time generate, and that's nine. So whoever has nine? Me. I'm going to okay. get rid of two. Okay. Ooh. Okay. 2185 is the time you walk into this room. And inside, you find your way in a room filled with books. Books? What? That's what we were looking for. On the wall is a simple inscription. Knowledge equals power. Lies. Do an arcana check. You can tell that the arcane barrier in front of you is not something that is broken via typical means. But you believe that the arcana within the door has something to do with the inscription of knowledge equals power. Uh, can I open one of the books? You may. Power. Do I have to do a perception check? Uh, no. There's really nothing in the books, but as you turn through the pages, you notice one of the books has a mysterious-looking sigil on it. What does the sigil look like? Uh, the sigil looks like a sun. It almost looks like a sun that has eight points on it. And in the middle of it, there appears to be a uh, cross of some sort. Hmm. Well, guys, knowledge equals power. I start... Uh, Looking at the books and just like on covers and seeing if I what I notice. Are they all you, the... don't, you don't notice anything particular about the books, but you do all feel right. soft arcane energy with them coming from all the, right. like all of the books. All right, I kind of check the books. <clears throat> oh, you feel the arcane energy that is tied to the books is exactly the same that is tied to the door. Can I throw the book at the door? You may. If you throw the book at the door, it flies through the barrier and nothing happens. So the books can get through the barrier. So I I grab a book and try to walk through, see if I can get through the door while holding the book. You walk through unimpeded. Alright, so I'll do that. I do the same thing. Alright. Ditto. Everybody grabs a book, everybody walks through. The fi After the five of you walk through the barrier, the barrier fades, and from a small swirling vortex at the center of where the door was, a tiny metal shard is, like, coughed out with an audible pah! I think that over. Nasty. Take that, Joe. I pick it up and put it with the, uh... I complete the key. Okay. The key is completed, and 
in all like one unison voice. They're like, good, we must hurry. The entrance is ahead. Let's do it. All right. Got to go forward. Got to go fast. Got to go fast. One D10 for our time generation. Number one. Uh, we'll go with number three. Okay. Uh, one D. Oh, sorry. You just want. Yeah. Okay. Three D twenty. And you're getting rid of number one. Did I say one or three? I thought you said one. Maybe one. I don't know. Uh. Okay. With this. See here. Okay. So with the path you guys took, it, this one here crunches and falls. So now. Which room do you guys go to? Because you were here. You have a choice. Uh, does the... Is the key... Can I ask the key which way we should go? The key just says, ahead. Alright. Thanks, tips. What so well, let's go... Me in this one. Yeah, sure. Doesn't matter, really. Listen to uh, the moths. Would that be the left or the right? The moths are always right. I'll, tr I, I'll trust in the moths this time. So which way are the moths taking you? This way? Right. To the right. Okay. The moths take you into a room that has another treasure. Oh, man. Good job, moths! It actually might help if the other stuff wasn't in here, too, though. I'm so bad at this, guys. Such a bad It's like it's like oh, your first uh, time or something. Shut up. Don't make me <laughs> hand descends from the heavens. Poke you Mom's the head. hand. Uh -oh. Isaac! <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Hold on. For some reason, everything got jacked around earlier, so. More technical difficulties. Okay, final chest. Do you choose to open it? Perception yeah. check? Wait. Okay. I don't even care, and I just no, open no. it. You okay. open it, and inside I'm blind there anyway, is so. a scorched <laughs> stone. Like a rock? Um, I pick it up, yes. and I throw it at Joe. Actually, no, I throw it at... Uh, I uh, uh, throw it at Rana. Rona. Okay. What? It's, it's rock. You want it. Oh, it's my brethren. Okay. How do you oh, feel someone threw a burning piece of flesh at you? So, this rock, Rona, when you hold on to it, like, you can actually... Actually, oh, the Arcana is probably I, really... I did an Arcana check on it. Zolak, you know that that is actually... Despite it looking like a piece of crap, it actually is a very long-lost relic. A stone of Vonnegross. Scorched cobblestone used to build the infamous castle that was home to a thriving war effort almost 500 years ago. Damn. So, but what stone, does it do? The stone does not do anything other than the fact that it feels very warm to the touch. So I can just hug it? Pretty much. <laughs> nice and toasty. Nice we done here? <laughs> yep. Moving back to the, the chest. That oh, was yeah, fun. Just... <laughs> oh, whoops. That's the wrong roll. Sorry. Uh, four anyways. No! <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. The other way, it's me. Okay, 3d20, which um, one disappears? Three. Okay. 1d20... Oh, I forgot to put the three part. Yeah, that. Okay. Oops. Try that again. You said you're getting rid of number three? Yeah. Okay. 
Your new time is 2127, and you moved into this room here. Where do you wish to go? Forward. Forward. Okay, you, move, you move to this room, and the key, the key excitedly Not cries out in your hand, This is it! Oh, shit. I do, uh, Arcana check on the room. Uh, I do you perception. can tell... Okay, so perception and arcana. Okay. Wow, whoa, whoa! It's almost <laughs> okay, Kimmy, there's like nothing there's like nothing going on in here, but you can tell because the key is in Joe's hand. The key matches the lock on the door exactly. That this is the door nice. we've been looking for. I go to put the key in the door. When you put the key in the door, it opens up and you are you're kind of just standing there and then all of a sudden there just seems to be almost soft church music playing. I'm just here. My anaconda don't. My anaconda don't. <laughs> Please tell me the walrus is wearing a wedding dress. So, as you guys walk into the room... <laughs> nice. Nice. You know what this feels like? This feels like Super Mario RPG. Yeah. You walk into the room, and up front he said, I will have visit... How fortuitous! Yeah. What extravagance! Uh, I move closer a little bit and say, with the entertainment for the wedding reception thing. He. <laughs> <laughs> so we... Sax just like slips and face plants on the rug. There's your entertainment. <sighs> yes, I'm the jester. <laughs> He's just. Ah, oh, the jester. Oh, you know, I don't recall ordering over those, but you know, it is so hard to remember everything that I did when my ears are filled with the tintinabulation of wedding. Tintinabulation. I'm impressed. Yeah, we're your uh, wedding guests. You sent us an invitation. Are we late? He says, no, in fact, you're just in time. All great weddings must have a bride, and the door on the right-hand side kind of opens oh, up. And so... <laughs> <laughs> and sliding across the aisles up front, she kind of just sits there and just kind of looks at him. <laughs> Pretty much. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hi, oh, buddy. She... Hope you find your dad. Ah. She does this on her own free will? Yeah. Oh, she totally the wants to be here. Guys. She totally she wants to be here. We should just leave. He steps to the side and he says, Ah, oh, my sweet Lady Tuscara. Tuscara. Guys, I'm telling the... you. <laughs> <laughs> and, of... and he kind of responds back to her. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I can tell Tony was practicing. Yeah. <laughs> and they just kind of look at each other. And he kind of looks back at them and he says... You see, this is what love looks like. This is what I have been searching for all of these years. All of the riches, everything that I've taken, it is merely to find love. For what suitor out there could be more qualified than myself? <laughs> <laughs> oh god. It was Paul. 
<laughs> wow. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> she just hit her face in in embarrassment. So I mean, she's just kind of looking at him with these just. Br- <laughs> I'm sorry, I saw a chat and I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> he, so, I mean, they're just kind of looking at each other with just, like, the biggest, like, doe eyes or walrus eyes or whatever you want to call them. It's it's very much the look of love. And I don't know what you guys are going to do, but I really... Oh, that's a good time for her to cut out. Inconvenient mind yeah. cut out. Let... Oh my god, are you kidding me? I want to nope. see what you guys do next. I wish to stab the Walrus King. All my 10k. No! Um, I think they're in love, and the Walrus moved on her own free will. Now, if she was forced, I'd totally be down. You know what? But she can looked we... like she moved on her own free will. Can we go all the way back and kill the guys at the camp? <laughs> <laughs> I want Zaxus. someone to die. No! Zaxus. <laughs> Lest you Take forget the reason why we're here. <gasps> oh, we hey, Kingy. Hey, Kingy, do you have, down. like, I don't know, 50,000 gold pieces lying around somewhere? He says, oh, well, I can't say that I do in this kill room him. of Let's the go. castle. All right, in kill him. this room of the castle. <laughs> Don't care, kill him. Finish talking, King. He says, however, you are searching for 50,000 pieces of gold, you say? 60,000 would be better, but... More. I'll take 50. He says, I have a personal stash of gold that I have been able to save from my many travels. (laughs) And I would be willing to give it all up if you would let me go. Yeah, how much is it? 75,000 gold pieces. <sighs> is he bluffing me? Insight. Insight. I'm inciting you this. May... Yeah, I'm inside the show to that. I see 15, 15, 15, 5. God damn it. 15, 7. He is, as far as you can tell, he is not. Joe's is literally hypnotized. He's a <laughs> Joe's like, guys, I think it's actually like a hundred thousand. I don't know, but I think it's <laughs> also two hundred K. Also, he's got angel wings. <laughs> like Joe's uh, falling in love with him. So in the he kind of motions for, <laughs> and he says, the gold is right here. Yeah, f that idea. I'm not going that far. <laughs> uh, hey. Mr. Walrus King, sir, um, this place seems to be falling apart. Do you have any idea, like, uh, how soon the rest of this place is, is gonna fall? He says, well, I'm not certain. It seems as though this castle is holding up, I would dare say, better than the last one. No sooner does he say that, do about uh, this part of the castle like splits oh. off and, half, <laughs> and floats away. Oh, uh, Felicia, that didn't sound good. Yeah, he basic, but the rest of the castle is still remarkably. I mean, the gold. He says, well. If you had noticed, there was a lot of pieces missing from that side. He's not wrong about that. He says, I believe if you could possibly hurry, it is potential you may be able to escape this castle with my gold, and I can be left with Lady Tuscara. A happy end to all involved. What do you say? Or you could go get I, your gold and we won't kill you. I would like to whisper to the group. Mm-hmm. Just huddle around. All of us huddle. Huddle. Huddle right here. 
Huddle, we need, we need <laughs> arms over each other. Huddle in the circle. Guys, we'll down. here we go. <laughs> Guys, I, I, yeah, hate, up. I hate to, to <sighs> cite a, an ancient sort of idea. You just put idea. your hands on my head. Too short. A bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. I don't have any birds or bushes here, so I have no idea what you're talking <laughs> yeah, about. Yeah, but we got two walruses right here. <laughs> I feel uncomfortable like with this line. Of We've got two <laughs> promised rewards here. We could and kill frankly, them if we and take him, the money, or we could believe in love. Your cold crab heart hurts me. <laughs> Do we believe in love? I say we no. make the walrus king go get his gold and bring it back. Agreed. Yeah. I'm down. Ride him. Joe Cash, ride he's him pretty scary. Tell him we'll, we'll tell him we'll watch his wife while he goes goes and we'll, gets it. Yeah, we'll take care and of if, her. And if he is, is truthful, we'll leave him be. Is that what you tell him? That was my plan. No. I'm I'm letting everyone vote and see if yes. we're we're in agreement. Sure. We're good with it. All right. So you tell him this, and he says, "It will take time, but I will gladly go get that gold." All right. I just follow him. You um, follow him. What if he just pieces out? Well, then we at least have the walrus princess to take. That's true. Him. All we get from that is mm, fish. That's yeah. It's him. It's he. He's the one that's worth the money. So. Oh, okay. So just oh, so you guys know. Okay. You guys are back at the map, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I am marking this map so you can under so you guys see what he has to do. He is here. He has to go mm -hmm. up, there, back, and through. So technically, on time. Which, by the way, your time is now fourteen seventy-seven. That's what happens when about a third of the castle breaks away, though. All right. <laughs> what was the number again? Your number 14. now is fourteen seventy-seven. Holy shit. Um, he is going to take the opportunity to go get the gold. Is somebody following him? Yeah. Yeah, we should okay. follow him. I guess okay. we're all following him? You're all following him. While escorting. Okay, so the lady. first time generation, number two. Yeah, we're taking the lady. That's me. Um. Drop the first one. Okay. Okay. New time is 1460. You're in this room going into this room here. The next time generation? 10. Uh, get rid of the first roll. Okay. As you advance into the room, another piece of the castle breaks away and crashes into the ocean. As you walk into the room, he says, here it is. And he opens the door. And just inside, you just see, like, heaps of gold, like, as far as the eye can see. Like, this is almost Scrooge McDuck vault status right now. <laughs> Jeez. Is, How are we gonna get that out of here? Is there a room? That's the question. Like, Where's that chest you threw this? at that guy? What'd you say, Zaxis? I didn't even hear you. Is there a room you have? No. For this? No. Oh. Think about uh, How are we gonna get this out of here? Yeah. Are there accesses to outside from these rooms, or is that only at the very entrance? He says, by design intentionally, only at the front entrance, but I can at least help you carry it quickly. I'm just and he, he takes from his pocket what appears to be a small sack. Nice. <laughs> Is that a bottomless? Oh, wait. And arcane, he begins just arcane? like... Pull. Okay. Yeah, no. you can't tell what it is. Can I'll I do like... an arcana check. Yep. It is just as you expected. It is a bag of holding. So he's just taking like basically like ice buckets filled with gold and it's just heaving it into this bag and it does not appear as though it is even getting full All right. um, it, it does take him a while though to fill the bag and or to get to the point where he's like there in that bag is 
Seventy-five thousand gold. I actually um. Number eight and number three. Because of how long it took to get the bag. The D20? Oh shit, that's you twice, isn't it? Yeah. So... Okay. Uh, 3D20, we're going to do that twice. Which number do you want taken off the roll? So, just do 6D20 two and, three. and take off two. Oh uh, yeah, we could do it that way too, actually. We could do 6D20 and then you remove two from the roll. Okay. So, the uh, second one and the sixth one. Okay. Oh my lord. Hold on one second, guys. I'll be right back. Sure. Damn it. Yeah, you took off like the lowest ones, thanks, though. Good job. That's why I don't trust you with water. Quick, pour the water out. No, Fill the flask with, uh, with gold. You're good at spatial recognition. Can you fit gold into a flask? Does it even fit? Is the gold pieces too big? You can use your little cla 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 crab claw and like snip it wider. Yeah, let, let me know how crab claw works over there. Huh? So, what do you think about getting him too, anyway? You're a horrible person. <laughs> Do 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 He offers you the sack of gold. Um, Joe, are we are we back at I the yellow it. one? Which which spot on the map are we? Because we got to get to the red all the way at the bottom. No, we're you're still in that corner. No, you're back at yellow. Oh, okay. Woo! Yeah, because we got to get to red to get down. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> Hang on. No, you're not. You're at the corner. You have to get back to... Well, I mean, you can basically... You can take it and run from here if you want to. I vote run. Yeah. Okay. Right. Um, Each oh, I, I make sure that the gold is actually in this bag. It is. Like, there's not a. Yeah. Okay. Um. Okay. Can I backstab him? You don't have combat advantage. The Walrus King. Great. Nope. Then I just attack him. Wait, we're doing okay. this. We're live. We're doing this. I'm not. <laughs> Is this the god? Hey, I want both. I mean, uh, fair enough, but like, do we have time to kill him? I've got like five flasks of water. It'll work. You're gonna kill him with water? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Are you gonna waterboard this guy? <laughs> so you attack him, you say? Well, I would like to, like, backstab sneak attack him while he's handing the bag off to Joe. Yeah, who has the bag? I Joe. was taking it. Yeah, Can we, like, signify that we're, like, not with this guy? Like, it was his yeah, idea? Seriously, I don't want to be with him. <laughs> oh, yeah, actually, yeah, you know, we actually can do a split here at this point. <laughs> Let's money and leave him there. <laughs> Okay, so you're going in for an attack, huh? Yeah, what Go do you want it. me to roll? <laughs> you roll what you want. No, 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 like, do I, you want me to roll initiative? You're rolling an attack, so I think you should be rolling it. Uh, okay, hold on. Uh. OK, 
Okay, so I'm gonna roll setup strike. Okay. Setup strike. He uses an immediate interrupt, whipping around with his sword versus your reflex. Twenty-six on reflex. My reflex is seventeen. Ooh, snap. Take 22 cold damage, and you are immobilized. How do you feel, Steven? How do you feel? I feel <laughs> like feel I'm frozen. <laughs> he kind of looks around. Like he sees heart. the bag in Joe's hand, and he just kind of growls. Anybody else? It yeah. comes to siding with... Uh... <laughs> Paul. I, I uh... I go to use uh, pressing strike on uh, oh, Zaxus. Oh, 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 oh. Siding with siding with this fucking rogue or siding with love. I choose. You know what? Yeah. You know what? Yeah. I'm in. That five, came out of left field. Five more damage to Zaxus. I want it on this. What do okay, I have to? You're what's up next. AC? Oh, 17. Oh, yeah. that okay, got hold you, on. dude. That got you so hard. You're at 7 HP. Right, Wait, so no, it says closer. 5. Oh, I need to minus 7, right? Yeah. Here, I'm, no, I'm at 5. Because I saw oh, you're the, at 5. Oh. No, no, no. He doesn't have. Does he have rage on right now? I don't. No. Okay, so plus 2. Hold on. Yeah, so 7. So he's 7. So okay, so. <laughs> Oh my god, okay. <laughs> That's where you thought this was gonna go, right? No! <laughs> hey, I was, I just with the quarter staff? I was gonna die. You can try with your quarterstaff, yeah. Alright, I'm just gonna thwack him. In the neck again. Part C, boys. You're just gonna thwack him. What's he rolling? I don't see anything. Oh, yeah, I gotta do my thing. Yeah. Nope. What about me? Can I go? Jeez. Yeah, you got a shot too. <laughs> so, what do you do? Oh, oh, that puts him at one HP. Come on, Klaustoff. Klaustoff, you've got a shot. Come on. <laughs> oh, you bastard! <laughs> what ah. Well, you know what? No. Well, no. well, you know what's Joe even better? Well, here's the trick. The Walrus King's move was not his standard action. That was an immediate interrupt, so he has a turn. <laughs> <laughs> and he is going to use... What is he going to use? Get it, girl. Get it, get it, girl. Get it, girl. Get it, he get is it, girl. going to use the chilling blow. <laughs> that was fun. He winds up with his sword and he's, I'm putting you on ice. Except it's more like, phrasing? Phrasing anybody? 16 versus fortitude. Fortitude? My fortitude's 12. <laughs> Grip. So any damage he does, you're down. <laughs> Just, so you are down. He kind of looks at the rest of the party and says... I would suggest hurrying before the rest <laughs> of this place comes down. Wow. And as he says that, you Holy kind of shit. you kind of hear another loud rumbling as another significant chunk of the castle, probably about <coughs> uh, say maybe yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll say these pieces here just like crumble away. All right, I want to coup de gras him. <gasps> what? Coup de gras who? You. <laughs> I'm, my body's limp, 
And yeah, like, that's the coup de grace. That means helpless. <laughs> Go for it. And I'll use uh, a fucking Titan's Rage. Oh, man. Like, I'm lying <laughs> on the ground dead. His body is kind of like flinches a little bit. So, here's the best part. You've dazed him now. So, he's just, like, laying there. He's like, uh. Yeah, he, he's dead. I'm he's dead. dead and confused. Nice. Eyes kind of glazed over. And, oh, wait, you're still generating time. So, number six. I I can't roll. I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, then let the walrus king hand. <laughs> Thirty-two time disappears off. You're not gonna take one away now. Oh no, you have a sprint to make. It's fine. All right, let's go. And your time, by the way, so you know, your you time is at. Sprint? <laughs> your time is only at three hundred now. We better fucking go. Uh, can I use the rod to give us more time? You may. You use a healing surge to do so. 20. Alright. Okay, did you roll it? I, didn't, I don't know. If uh, what am I rolling? 1d20. Alright. You now have 318 time units. All right, we can book it. And so, you guys are right here, so keep that in mind, because your exit can be either here or here. Let's go. And where are we? You guys right are technically... Well, technically, your rune generation puts you here. Okay. So the we shortest the distance right you guys can less. take is five rooms, but if it falls away, you may not have a choice. Yeah. All right, so let's roll for the first room then. Yep. Okay. Number two. That's me. Three D twenty, but this time none disappear. Shit. Wow! <laughs> Lucky you. You guys Holy are now in the yellow shit. room. Uh, I use I use the rod again. Okay. You add another 1d20 to the time that you have. Yeah. Okay. You basically Ooh. gain 8 back that she just lost, so... Yeah. So the, the rod has one more charge on it, right? Correct. And 3? Okay. Yes. The next use is number 1. I can't roll, I'm dead. Okay. 11 time, then. Disappears. <laughs> so now you guys are here. Yep. Now you're moving to there. The next room. Number 10. It's me. 3d20. So. And I'll also use the uh, the last charge on the thing. Okay. Yeah. Only plus 4. Okay. As you guys are running, this room crumbles away and sinks into the ocean. As it sinks, you guys look back and you see the Walrus King and his wife diving blissfully into the ocean and kind of like, almost like dolphin status, swimming away. Aww. And that was the room where Zaxxus' corpse was. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys are right We're here, here now. correct? We're in the now blue you're dot. I was about to say, you're now moving to the blue dot. Yeah. Nah. Or, no, I think we should be. Oh, no, I thought we were right in the blue here. dot going to the second oh, that's right. blue dot. You're going to the second blue dot. Number seven? That's me. Okay. 3D20. <laughs> I open my, my chest while we're running through the room, and I oh, dump the out the uh, remaining bottles of, of water. How many were there? I three took five left. out of eight. So There are three, have, like, so roll three. 3D10. I should have given him the fucking ice sculpture. Wow, way to negate that. So you guys are here, and as you guys arrive here, two more rooms break off, kind of leaving a third to float away on its own. <laughs> so you guys are right here. 
You have a chance right here. 251 time. And to make it into this last room, the room has been incredibly stable, or has been incredibly unstable. And to cross over to it safely will require a lot of time. In fact, four time generations. One for each person to move safely. Number one, number four, number nine, and number six. We all roll a d20? Or 34 is the one. So you guys have 224 time left, actually. According to my you also logs. need to roll for the six. Oh, I have to roll for the six, too. Okay. Another 20. You guys have 204 time left with, with two rolls you have to do of d20. You guys are actually going to make this. Maybe. So number four, 3d20. Number four? Number four. And number nine as well. Well, I'm both, so. Okay. So I gotta roll again? again? Yeah, 3d20. Wow. 130. Jeez. And you're standing <laughs> right here. In order for the room to get back up to you, it takes two time generations. How much do Seven they have and left? three. They have 130. Nice. Oh, no, D20s. D20s, not D20. Oh, fuck. Oh! 52. Sorry. And a 21. 78. The room appears. The rest of the castle from, like, back here just begins to collapse behind you guys. It kind of floats off in like pieces and just kind of dissipates, essentially. But you guys are now actually in the safe room. What do you choose to do? Get out of here. Alright, as you ride it, as you ride it down one final time generation. Number three. 3D20. Forty-one time ticks to the bottom of the ground as you guys then re-arrive back at the entrance to the castle as the castle's final vestiges of structure collapse behind you. And with it, so does the frost magic that forms the elevator. I vote we split the gold now. Four ways. Sure. So 75,000 gold. Wait, split by four, four ways? <laughs> no, stop it. <laughs> 18,750 gold each of you to claim. Alright. Say that again. <laughs> 18... Well. Thousand seven hundred and fifty. I mean, you split it, but we only have one bag of holding. I got a chest. Yeah, I got a chest too. All right. All right. I mean, I'll give it to you. I'm made of stone. I leave the ice sculpture there. It's like some kind of monument of what happened. Don't we have to get back on that boat, <laughs> or can we walk away from here? Well, it's kind of interesting as the castle kind of melted. This piece of land starts slowly drifting back to the mainland. Okay. I still no, have you guys peaceful here. relaxation. All right. So I'll give you guys your gold, but I'm gonna also hold on to the bag of holding. You go for it. But you I will do dump it all out first so that we we count it fairly. That take a long ass time to count. Yeah. By the time you're finished counting the gold, the land kind of sails back up. To the village of Freeze. Damn it. And they're... They're actually quite happy to see you all. And, uh... Do Darius, they see us counting the gold? No. 
We did it Dar for love! Darius <laughs> says, Oh, thank God, I didn't know if you guys were going to make it. We saw that horrible endeavor going down with the castle from here. But, what of my walrus? Unfortunately, we couldn't. We lost one of our own troop in our escape for our own lives. Actually, you know what? I give, I give him the ice sculpture. He notices. <laughs> he says, "A sculpture of Tuscara." He. Yeah. <laughs> you see him kind of like tears kind of start to stream down his face, and he kind of says, "You did your best." No, they like didn't. Asshole. They killed me. <laughs> How is that their best? You shut up! <laughs> I want to haunt you guys. Can I haunt? Is, shut up! There's not a role for haunting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling particularly unperceptive right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You all know I'm pretty bad. I'm not very perceptive, so. Yeah. So, but he says, at least you did your best, and you escaped with your lives. But did you find anything else in there? We had to use basically all, everything we found. Potions, magical items on our escape. Did you find any <laughs> artifacts? He was a known collector of. No. D does <laughs> the rod dissolve? <laughs> that rod Nothing dissolve. to see here! <laughs> I'm asking the DM. Was in What'd that last say? use of the rod, did it break apart, or is it just now inert? It snapped in half. Yeah. We just have fragments of the magical item, and did the key disappear the whenever we put it in the door? Yeah, but remember, and you also found all those other objects too, maybe. You know, yeah. Axis was holding on to quite a few of them. No, no, no. no. Um, Zolok has all, I think, all of them. Oh, yeah, Did sure. You? Yeah. We got blueprints. We got this little tower thing. I think you have the poster. No, you have the poster, too. Okay. Here's Bye, the poster. Okay. Uh, and Rona has the rock. Oh, yeah, yes. the rock. It's my heartwarming rock. He takes a look <laughs> at all the different artifacts you've laid. That is a historical relic, pointing to the, the rock that you referred to, Rona. Ooh. He looks at the poster and he says, that is probably where he will go next. The place he can find that is the closest to an Argentus bank. But this, and he seizes upon the spear. He says, this, this is the greatest possible find you could have found. You have found a relic that has been particularly important to our tribe for many years. This is Ice Jaeger. And he takes the spear and like twirls it around in his hands. And he says, it is a weapon reserved for the most prestigious hunter among our ranks. And he kind of nods his head towards a tent as another individual comes out. And he walks forward and he says... Come forth, lad. This belongs to you. And he hands the spear over to the kid, who kind of nods his head and says, I thank you tremendously for all that you have done. I will now take this spear and make our village known in the lands of Garkus, where the greatest hunting competition is soon to happen. Darius nods his head and says, with great haste, lad, you will succeed. And he kind of turns around and he says, This is bizarre. I sense a spiritual energy hanging around these four individuals. Hopefully it will not provide them too much trouble. And he leaves, slowly heading off to the lake. I don't feel anything. <laughs> and that is hungry. actually it for Deep Freeze Follies tonight. So, 
that actually closes out the campaign that went way longer than I expected it to. Six hours again. Four hours is a really bad estimate for this stuff. Yeah. We'll get the it time, one day. The, just the time stuff adds a, yeah. lot, a lot of extra time on the roll. Yeah. Yeah. The in-group yeah, in fighting in adds a lot of time. <laughs> that goes yeah, that too. Yeah. The tail that too. Fucking... When I miss all my chest slides. That too. Oh, really? More in the front Just half, I think, it added time. So Z honestly, had to leave but, because yeah. he had a prior arrangement, but, um... Okay. But I Whatever, do want to say... Yeah, well, we killed him off. Um, I do want to say, though, I it. hope you guys enjoyed this experience with D&D. It was a very different campaign than anything we've honestly ever done. <laughs> it was something. It was pretty epic. Just like... Really dumb. <laughs> I hope it lived up. So here's the fun part that maybe a lot of people don't know about this one. Um, this kind of in the behind the scenes sort of thing. Like we've talked about all sorts of crazy and insane different campaigns, and the Walrus King originally started as a joke, and I believe Homer was. And then he cuts out. We don't get to hear the joke. It, it, I, there wasn't a joke. It was the Walrus King as a whole. Yeah, like the idea the of him I as an down. entity was something <laughs> that we had written as an idea for a campaign, and we decided what better way to flush out a one shot and to end the year than by taking this absolutely insane idea that Homer came up with and turn it into something just maniacal. <laughs> and hopefully, we lived crazy. up to Homer's <laughs> expectations. It's pretty great. It was pretty great. <laughs> so. Yeah. To my players, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for bearing with me. Um, do you guys have any shout-outs you guys want to make? Anything like that? Shout-out to Zaxus. Shout-out to Zaxus. <laughs> Never forget. Zaxus rip. Pour one out for Zaxus. <laughs> <laughs> Pour one of those flasks out for him. And thanks to you. Fun, you were good to you. Shout-out to Tony. <laughs> He forgives us for killing him. Oh, he yeah. Deserved it. <laughs> he was kind of asking for it the whole time. He, he really was. was. He really yeah. was. So wait, did we actually only have one combat? Yeah, you guys actually two. did because you made well, it bypass two. the other two. Oh, no, yeah. Well, yeah. well unless you count killing Zaxxas. Mm -hmm. It was a long-ass combat, though. Yeah, so technically yeah, they're missing. actually... So this is some more behind-the-scenes stuff. I, I kind of want to do this, at least for this campaign. This was actually... They could have had up to three different fights. But you guys yeah. backed out for the other two. So, applause there. Um, a bunch of lame asses. <laughs> Paul, did you have anything you wanted to add? Uh, it's been a good year for this stuff, and I want to thank you personally for doing all the behind-the-scenes stuff and helping me get all this set up, because it's super fun, and I hope that the players today enjoyed it. I I can only hope the same thing, and I love this kind of thing. And, um, you know, before we actually uh, do go, um, I have a little bit to say myself. Um, let me be the first to say it's been an incredible seven months of on D D with the burning barrel it's been such an insane time and i really can't wait to bring you guys more content in 2016 so i really want to give a huge thanks to everybody who has played in the one shots this year and to my main cast in yalaton i've watched people grow through D, D, even if it was just one session or over six months it's been a genuinely amazing experience and none of this work would be possible without paul giving me the opportunity to flex my creative muscles bring this to a community that sees genuine interest in tabletop gaming. I love seeing it and being with people who love and appreciate the game gives me such a spark to continue and do bigger, better, or more ridiculous content for all parties involved. Which means everybody that, that said, signed up, we have you're not forgotten about, but and well, it's just getting better. That's absolutely right. Yeah, I was about to say, we're pulling in some loose threads because I know we didn't get to everybody who signed up to do one shots when we ran them earlier this year. You haven't been forgotten, and we're going to get you guys into campaigns in the very near future. And I say near future because it will not be this year. Deep Freeze Follies is the end of our 2015 season of content. But 2016 promises even more insanity. And to prove it, tonight we are actually revealing, for the first time, five new Barrel Roll one-shots today that will be happening in 2016. 
The first one is called Constructs. When a strange set of events bring out arcane energies from long dormant towers, what will our players do when they are inflicted with a strange curse that renders them reconstructible? Next, we have Trespassers. A group of villagers finds themselves on the outside looking in, trying to find a new home, but in a less than peaceful manner. Are they marauders, or is there more to this story? Next, we have the beautiful arcane game. When two rival wizarding colleges were founded, so was a rivalry that extended even to the battlefields of sport. Which team will win the annual Mage Ball Classic? Next, we have Mad Metal. When an enterprising blacksmith attempts to forge the greatest magical weaponry and armor the world has ever seen, the plans might have backfired a bit, and now the armor and weapons strike fear into the people by merely walking among them. How will you resolve this infestation of living steel? And finally, Mob Mentality. What started as a fight between two people has slowly become less and less civil as more and more people become involved in the fray. What sparked off this situation, and more importantly, what will you do to resolve it? So, those are five one-shots that will be coming at some point during the year in 2016, and this is a long also known as the Age of Revolution. But for now, we're coming into a crazy holiday season. We've done a lot of work to get to this point. So we want you guys to enjoy the holidays with your families, and we want to enjoy them with our families. So we're going to take a break, and we'll be back at some point in either late January or early February of next year when we're basically going to be taking Burning Barrel and the barrel roll one shots with D and D, we're going to be leveling up big time. Yep. So we hope to see you then. That's all I got. That's. I mean, that's it. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great one. Bye. Bye. Bye.